Good afternoon and welcome everyone. It is certainly our pleasure to be hosting this event. And I just want to say how very grateful oh, we is. are I just said to, that. to have everyone, um, especially to all of those. Um, I know we have veterans um, here in this meeting, of course the mayor, thank you for your support. Um, and I want to, I don't want to take much time and I want to go ahead and, and turn the meeting now over to Denise Reed. Denise is a longtime um, board member of the Community Service Council, but she also serves as the chair of the Oklahoma Veteran Alliance Veteran Employment Committee. And so Denise, thank you so much for your hours of work and your commitment to this effort. And so I'm going to turn this back to you now and thank you and thank you to everyone who has worked so hard um, to make this event possible today. Thank you, Pam. I will say it's uh, it's kind of a group effort. We do have a fairly large employment committee that meets. Um, so I want to recognize program managers, Pete Lutweiler and Amanda Pickens that are always supporting this work and appreciate them as well as our um, committee members. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do a quick overview of some of the um, information about the Oklahoma Veteran Alliance um, Veteran Employer Network. Um, basically, this is a collaboration that we started um, close to, well, right at four years ago. And it's in collaboration with Community Service Council, the Oklahoma Veteran Alliance, um, DR Consulting, Key Personnel, Department of Veteran Affairs, and of course, the city of Tulsa, um, with the main goal of creating um, a network of individuals and organizations that are um, invested in recruiting, hiring, and developing veterans and creating a veteran-ready workplace. So this year is our fourth year of the survey. We had 93 surveys completed, representing 36 industries and 10 cities and over 23,000 employees. Um, this infographic right here is something that we put together every year that showcases kind of the overall information. Um, the recognition criteria for um, being a champion is veteran recruiting and hiring, um, veteran resource groups, onboarding program or buddy program, veteran programs or supports, veteran employee resources and supports very specific to our veteran populations, um, a veteran executive sponsor and guard and reserve um, employee supports beyond USERA. This was something that we added um, last year. And this is basically kind of a look back at the um, findings that we've had over the four years. Um, you will see that 2019 gave a little bit more um, of some higher numbers in there that we haven't seen since. And then under the um, Guard and Reserve, that went down dramatically in 2021 um, because we did, or excuse me, 2020, because we did add Beyond You, Sarah, because we thought that was one of the best practices. Um, and we have shared what that looks like. So that's one thing, um, it was nice to see that bounce back to 69%. These initiatives, um, and if you look at these numbers, we have seen them tracking upwards. So this is something that we definitely um, are proud to see. And we do believe this is something that's um, very beneficial. One of the things that I do wanna mention is that we are um, recognizing 24 employers this year. That is up from our largest number of 13. So we are seeing more engagement with our area employers and across the state. We had four employers that were honorable mentions last year that have moved into champion status, which is an amazing um, accomplishment. So we're excited about that. And then just real quickly, I wanted to let you know that you can find a lot of this information out on um, Community Service Council's website. Um, under the veteran initiatives. And we have 80 organizations that are a part of the network with over 150 members that are about sharing best practices, tools and resources that actually help you become a veteran ready employer. So um, the goal with our network is really to create peer networking, peer learning with the capability of creating a stronger veteran um, ready community and employers in the Tulsa region and across the state. 
So um, with that being said, I want to make sure you're all aware this is being recorded. We will be sharing a link to the recording as well as an infographic. And the infographic this year will include just real quickly, just a second page that includes veteran resources and recognition, how to show your support, employer resources that were identified as um, best practices or um, most valuable by our employers and recruitment and special supports for veterans. So um, this will be coming. And if you um, know of anybody that is interested or wants to become a part of the network, definitely share um, and have them connect with myself or Pete Lutweiler, or they can also go to the community service website. And having said that, I'm going to go ahead and kick it off to Mayor Bynum, who has been a supporter of this program and helped us um, do the recognition. And we are so fortunate to have him and um, Mayor Bynum. I'm going to turn it over to you. I'm not going to have to do much of an introduction. You're very well known in this circle. Well, thank you very much, Denise. And I, I, I really want uh, to say how much I appreciate your work on this. I know you put in a ton of time on this uh, and Pam, your team as well. Thank you all so much for the work that you do. When we launched this in 2017, uh, I think there was a common vision here in Tulsa that we wanted to do more to highlight those uh, employers that are doing a great job of creating employment opportunities for our veterans community and creating quality employment opportunities. Uh, and both we want people in Tulsa when they're trying to decide who they're going to do business with to know the businesses that support our veterans here in, in Northeast Oklahoma, but also for our veterans community, we want them to know where the great employment opportunities were. Uh, where are the, the employers that truly value their service to our, our country and are creating jobs and uh, long range careers that are going to reflect that? And so it, it's really exciting uh, to, to have seen this from when we launched it in 2017 uh, and to have hit, a, as Denise just mentioned, you know, a high of 13. Uh, uh, veteran employer champions to this year being at 24, uh, nearly uh, doubling that all-time high. Uh, that's great momentum in just a, a couple of years. And so uh, I'm very grateful to everybody that's been involved in this. Uh, you know, I feel like every time that there's an exciting, positive employment or uh, announcement about veterans in Tulsa, Pete Lewiler is somehow involved. Pete, thank you. Uh, and of course, uh, Jag Cochran on our team at the city of Tulsa, who leads so many of these efforts from my office, I, I'm very grateful for. Um, everyone should have received a proclamation. If you haven't received it yet, you will be in the mail. Um, uh, but I, I do want to read this uh, for everybody here. It, it reads, whereas the city of Tulsa is dedicated to building a community where veterans are honored for their service and sacrifice with economic opportunities. And whereas a partnership formed by the city of Tulsa, the Community Service Council, Oklahoma Veteran Alliance, DR Consulting, the Oklahoma Department of Veteran Affairs, and key personnel seek to recognize outstanding veteran employers and encourage other employers to cultivate meaningful employment for veterans, and whereas the Warrior Partnerships of Eastern Oklahoma Employment Committee developed a scoring rubric and survey process to carefully identify veteran employer champions, and whereas a veteran employer champion must meet six benchmarks, including veteran hiring and recruiting, veteran resource groups, onboarding or buddy programs, veteran programs and community support, veteran employee resources and or supports, veteran executive sponsor leading veteran strategies and guard and reserve employee supports. And whereas 24 employers have been selected to receive the veteran employer champion recognition. Now, therefore, IGT Bynum, Mayor of the City of Tulsa, do hereby present this certificate of recognition to, and I get to have uh, the City of Tulsa's here uh, really grateful to accept this on behalf of our team we, at the city of Tulsa. We want to lead on these efforts and I appreciate the work everybody on our team at the city, but I, I also want to recognize so many of 
uh, our veteran employer champions who are joining this call today. And those are in alphabetical order, uh, Aon Inc., uh, AB1 Oklahoma, Baker Hughes, Barracuda Staffing Incorporated, the Berry Hill Fire Protection District, BOK Financial, Employer Support of the Guard and Reserve, or ESGR, Goodwill Industries of Tulsa, Lowe's Home Improvement, Lumen Technologies Incorporated, Melton Truck Lines, Next Stop Inc., Northeastern State University, Oklahoma Employment Security Commission, Oklahoma State University, go folks, One Gas, One Oak, Packer Winch Incorporated, Public Service Company of Oklahoma, Rapid Application Group, LLC, Southern Nazarene University, Spirit Aero Systems, and of course, the folks at the Coffee Bunker. Thank you all so much for making Tulsa a better city uh, for our veteran community and truly being veteran employer champions. I'm grateful that we can recognize you uh, in this way today and to thank you directly for the way that you're supporting our veterans in this community. And I will uh, turn it back over to Pam or Denise, whoever would like to take the lead. Thank you. I will. Thank you, Mayor. I appreciate it. Um, and because we're in like this weird um, kind of virtual space, I want to know if we can potentially get back to the first one and just do something where each company comes off and then you can potentially just do a screenshot or whatever you might want to do. The other thing I want to say real quickly is that not only is this survey um, implemented in 2017 and kind of went into 2018, but it is not a static survey. So every year it goes deeper. So it's one of those things that um, to grow it to the 24 employers that you mentioned, um, it's a huge accomplishment of the employers that are staying um, on the list and continuing to grow their veterans initiatives and meeting those minimum thresholds. So Mayor, are you okay if we just do a quick thing where we go through and call out Aon and let them see if they can get their, their audio off to where they can show up and in the picture and maybe get a screenshot? Are you good with that real quickly? Of course, whatever you wanna do, however we can best recognize folks. Perfect. Aon, um, do you wanna come off of uh, mute and just, um, so we can say Aon and get you there with your your logo and that type of thing. Will that work? Yeah, um, I think we have uh, multiple people on. I don't know if Stephanie's available or not. Stephanie Cameron Regan. I'm on here. Yep. Okay. There Curtis, she is. I'm going to let you take it. <laughs> okay. Well, I just want to make sure that we're recognizing you and allow you to get a screenshot with your picture up there with it and all that good stuff. Does that work? That's fine. Yes. Okay. And have you got to get a screenshot? Yes. Thanks. Perfect. Great. Perfect. All right. Congratulations again. And Thank then Anheuser-Busch or AB1. Are you on here? All right, we'll go to the next one. Baker Hughes, I know I heard Paul, so yep. let's see if we can. I, I am here. Awesome. And did you, were you able to get a screenshot to show you there with the mayor and, and the logo? Yes, I did. Awesome. Thank Congratulations. What about Barracuda staffing? Yes, thank you. We appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Mayor, and thank you. Uh, for the uh, Oklahoma Veterans Council. We appreciate you guys very much. Thank you. Thank you. What about Berry Hill Fire? Maybe not. Bank of Oklahoma I know is here. Leslie, Janet, did you all get a picture? Yeah, so so this is Grant uh, Bridgewater. So uh, just wanna say thank you very much to the mayor and, and to everybody for this opportunity. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. 
city of Tulsa. You've already kind of recognized. Did you get to what yep. you? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then um, ESGR. ESGR is here, uh, uh, Ray Knapp, and I have uh, Paul Ray, who's the vice chair of the ESGR committee in Oklahoma, and also Terry Moore, who is our employer outreach uh, director. And I was wondering. If, uh, Excellent. Thank and, uh, you. I was wondering if. What? Were you going to say something? Okay. Goodwill Industries. David, are you going to say something? I'm going to I'm going to take the picture. <laughs> I have the picture. Thank you, Mayor. Um, Thank of you, Tulsa. As well as, and may I just say this really just quickly, I wanted to dedicate this particular one to our uh, veteran, Parrish McDerris. Awesome. He's in our thoughts and prayers for sure. Thank, Thank you. you. Lowe's, this is like one of my favorites. I love the Lowe's parking lot with their signs and everything they do. Um, so are you here and were yeah. you? Picture. We're here, Denise. I'm here with a couple of our veterans and thank you so much for this honor. We really appreciate it. Thank Excellent. you. Thank you. Lumen. You now we have a few people from Lumen. Yep. Good afternoon. This is Kevin Waterman. Happy to be here and thank you, uh, Mayor, for having us. So on behalf of the folks at Lumen, we really appreciate your uh, recognition of us and, and we're certainly here to help and, and proud to be members of the community here. Excellent. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you. Melton? Melton's a big champion of this work. Uh, yes, ma'am. David Harper here with Melton. Um, we're really proud to be uh, recognized and um, trying to snap a picture while I talk. <laughs> um, and it's, uh, it's great to be here with everyone. We really appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Next stop. Hi, Denise and all. Thank you so much. We're thrilled to be honored and happy to be among such great company. Excellent. Thank you for being here. Northeastern State University. Oh, Riverhawks. Thank you, Mary Byron. Thank you, uh, Denise. Uh, we are very military proud, military engaged and military friendly. Want to invite everybody to our Veterans Monument and Plaza dedication on November 11th here on the Telequa campus. No, it's not Tulsa, but we're the other big T. So thank you, everybody. We're in a great group in supporting our military. Salute to all. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, Eloy. Oklahoma um, Employment Security Commission. I now have a, we have a few people there. Mr. Mayor, this is uh, Matthew Sarver. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it from our fighting position and uh, we look forward to continuing the great job. Thank you. OSU. Yeah, thank you. Um, I've been the veteran success coordinator here for a little over a year and two weeks now. And I'm very proud of uh, Oklahoma State as a university and as a veteran community. Let me get this screenshot here. Wait a minute. I got a smile. I looked really weird on that. So give me <laughs> one more second. I didn't realize I was gonna freeze my frame like that. Okay, so I want to smile. Okay, thank you. Excellent, thank you. Thank you. One gas. Carolyn, are you talking? You're, you're muted if you are. Sorry, I, I, I always do that. Um, this is Carolyn, so I'm just surf with one gas, and we're just honored to be recognized again and um, looking forward to continuing what we're doing in the veteran space and um, just proud to have received this award again. Thank you. Thank you. 
One Oak. Good afternoon. This is Jay Ardry with One Oak. On behalf of One Oak, we'd like to thank everyone for the recognition as we uh, continue our veteran support. Thank you thank so you. much. Packard Winch. Yes, uh, good afternoon. Um, thank you, Mayor Bynum, for this honor. We are very pleased to be added to the list of employer champions. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And then Public Service Company of Oklahoma. Hi, Amy Brown for Public Service Company of Oklahoma. We're really thrilled to be part of this group of employers and uh, especially thankful for our veteran employee resource group and our awesome human resources team who really set the curve for this work. Um, so uh, thank you to all the other employers to make Oklahoma a great place for veterans to live, work, and thrive. Yeah. If I'd known Amy Brown was on this, she could have given my speech for me earlier. <laughs> I'm not in the oh. payroll anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and she's also been a big supporter of this work, even when she was with the city. So we appreciate that, Amy. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. Um, rapid application group. Hey, thank you, uh, Mayor Bynum. Uh, from myself and all the veterans here at Rapid <clears throat> Application Group, we appreciate the support and we'll continue to push forward to uh, provide a good transition to those veterans coming out of the military. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, SNU? I just want to say thank you. We have the actually the whole vet house between Tulsa and Bethany on today. And thank you for this honor and we went from the honorable mention to one of the champions this year. So thank you, Mayor Bynum. Awesome, thank you. Thank you and congratulations. Spirit Aero Systems. Uh, yes, uh, uh, this is Matt Sheets, the chairman of the committee and uh, we really appreciate the recognition and we do work hard. Our tr employees are really devoted as well as our uh as well as spirit and we appreciate this opportunity anyway thank you for making us a champion thank you well you made yourself the champions and we do appreciate you as well and the coffee bunker last but not least <laughs> well, i want to i want to thank uh mayor bynum and and of course denise and everyone on the committee, but especially I want to thank each and every one of, uh, of our uh, champions for being uh, the support for our veterans uh, whom you've hired. We have a lot more available and we look forward to working with you in the very near future. And before you, uh, this, the, uh, I want to take a s screenshot of the, that's the wrong one, I don't want to do. <laughs> Me. I don't want me in the picture. <laughs> I got it. Thank you. You're Thank very you. welcome. All right. That is really it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. And thank you, everyone, for taking the time to kind of roll through this and try to get pictures. Um, Mayor Bynum, always appreciate your support and your willingness to help lift this conversation and the work that we're doing in the city. And um, I believe that does it and we are adjourned. <laughs>